Okay, so the P in the expert model is priorities. So we're going to look at priorities from three different vantage points. The first being the statistical overview of the game and how that relates to your practice. So I would say in the last five years or so, we've really seen this Moneyball effect. And for those of you that don't know Moneyball, um, it was a movie with Brad Pitt. Uh, it was a book before then that basically chronicled how the Major League Baseball teams have gone from a qualitative analysis, which is looking at players from their build and their confidence and some other sort of immeasurable aspects to more of a a hard data-driven assessment. So um, in many ways, golf has done the same thing where it's now said that, hey, you know, how good your swing looks or how well you putt, you know, or some of these things that were once defined as the most important aspects to have, um, they've looked at the data and said, hey, there's a lot of stuff going on here. Um, and if you're not aware of those sort of statistical importances, you can kind of go down the wrong track. So, you know, the old adage is that you would putt for dough and drive for show. What some of the statistics are now saying is that that's actually probably opposite in that driving the ball a long way with relative accuracy, you know, not, you don't even have to hit the fairway necessarily, you just need to have a second shot, is going to give you a bigger statistical edge over your competition than necessarily putting well. Now that's oversimplified and you can sort of look within putting the most important aspects, but we're going to kind of help you guide your practice as it relates to the statistical importance of each category. The second vantage point of priorities is really looking at your skills and trying to balance between bringing everything up to an acceptable level, but then also giving you some feedback as it relates to players at your level, right? So the 40 level progression that you're in, we're gonna give you a statistical analysis of, hey, this is where you stack up against people in your level. If you're starting to identify what we would call a super skill, then that's something that we might want to investigate. You know, so we always want to bring up our weaknesses, but sometimes identifying what we're exceptional at and trying to cultivate it and make it a super skill is the most important thing. So what we're noticing is that on the PGA Tour, there's absolutely these all-arounders, right? Guys that are exceptional or very good at pretty much everything. But what we're also seeing is that you have guys and gals, obviously on the LPGA Tour, that are exceeding because they have a super skill. They might drive the ball phenomenally well, and that gives them a huge advantage. They might have an exceptional approach game and sort of a mediocre short game, and they play to their strengths. So we're going to investigate that topic. And then the third aspect of priorities is specifically for our junior players, um, our high school age players, is helping them identify where they're at in their growth curve. What's really interesting is that if we can match your practice routines, you know, what you're focusing on, you know, whether it's, um, you know, short game skills or more fitness speed-based work, as it relates to where you're in your growth curve, we're going to maximize the physical qualities that you have at that given time. So there's these windows of opportunity that you're going to have, again, based on where you're at and your growth cycle that we want to maximize. So we are going to prioritize those aspects as it relates. So priority is a key part of the expert model.